Hey guys, welcome back to Not The Brickitech Studio. Today I've got a Lego haul to share with you on a set that I had no intentions of buying, but when prices become low enough, sometimes we make decisions that we wouldn't have made otherwise. And that's what I did on this set right here. We've got Lego Harry Potter set 75953. This is the Hogwarts Whomping Willow, 753 pieces. And to me, this set just seemed like one of the weakest Harry Potter sets, at least in my opinion. And the fact that it was $70 just kind of put me off on it. But I happened to be at Target and they had one of these left and the price was $35. So I was like, okay, 50% off, it's mine. So we ended up picking it up. But that's not all we did. What else did we do, Clark, man? We built it. We built it as well. This is a haul review. Welcome to our first ever haul review, I think. But Clark, you want to show this set off to you? We literally just finished building this. Clark and I tag teamed it because there's two manuals with this. And I have to say that I really have been sold on this set. But I'll let Clark, man, take over here so and show you guys. We'll start with the tree of Ron size family's car. You spin this crank, it spins them all around on the tree like that. Do you remember that tree from the movie? Yeah. I remember, Pretty scary tree, isn't it? Yeah, if we take him out real quick. Oh, oh yeah, let's show Ron. Here, here we have little Ron with the no moving legs. Little Ron with the no moving legs. His car is fire. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this vehicle. And that was like the thing that really appealed to me because at Target, for a long time, they had this thing set up where you could kind of demo it. It was already set up in the store. And of course, like the tree and the car thing was like a huge draw. And mm -hmm. Clark played with it countless times. and. Now he finally has one of his own. And you can put Ron inside there. Oh God. It shows that on the back. Oh, okay. See, that? see, right there. Okay. <laughs> and you can do a lot with that. Oh, you can put luggage in the trunk too. Did you show him that the trunk opens up? Oops. Mm, we have. Oh, uh, we have the luggage. I have a little bag of extras here. We have luggage, luggage inside. Yeah. <laughs> Clark tried before to put two of these in there and they didn't quite fit. So we'll do another test here. As I scrunch this down, whenever I watch these videos and I see unscrunched pieces, I just get all kinds of cringy, all kinds of triggered. <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real for putting a luggage in there. Verification that luggage is in there. Go ahead and shut it down, Clark, man. Oh, sugar shack. Shift it to the front and then it shuts with the luggage in there. But here's a look at the car. The Looking door. absolutely classic. The door is open. Giant doors on the side. This is one thing that I don't like about it. If you look at the doors, mm -hmm. look how the color on the door doesn't match the white that's on the rest of it. Mm -hmm. I wish that was pure white, but it's like a lighter blue. But that's mm -hmm. a look at the car. Got the sticker on the license plate, white roof. Look at noise. Mm -hmm. but that's just the first part of this. You got the tree and you got the car, but then you got- The castle. Do you like this part, Clark, man? Uh, let's turn it around. Yeah, turn it around this way because I feel like this is what really sold me on this. Like when I looked at the front of this box, I was like, yeah, that's kind of lame. You know, you just got a little castle extension. This is filler almost. But then you turn it around and take a look inside here. If the camera focuses. We got Snape in his office. You got Snape in his office. This guy is, is it Fitch? Fitch is his name. Filch. Arcus Filch. Oh God, Harry Potter detectors. I've been doing a lot to wrong you guys lately. But we got Filch there. These are just positioned wherever. We've got this little area down through here, which is looking real cute. We got, We've got the double bed set up, Minecraft style up here. We have um, Hedwig. We got Hedwig in the roof. Yeah, and there's the letter that's about to go out to Harry Potter, maybe. Mm -hmm. I like this little bedroom area. And I like that the beds, they have like this footrest thing on there where you can, oh, I'm hitting the microphone off of the thing. But you can put the characters in there and their feet actually line up with that. Can we see it? We have the, there we go. I'm going to turn it a little bit to get in the light so we can see that. But there is uh, Ron taking a little siesta inside there. <laughs> Down here we got Hermione and she's got this room behind her. I don't know what any of these rooms are offhand, unfortunately, but I do love the the charm of this set. We have them both sleeping. Harry's in there sleeping too. I hope they're not paying much for rent because that is a tiny room right there. But again, just a pretty solid set and I feel bad like hating on this before and not really liking it because I felt like it wasn't worth $70 but at 35 absolutely this is like the Batman set where there's like the whole thing where you can like drive through yeah there it's got like a garage and then you come in here and you're met by the weeping I keep calling it the weeping willow it's the whomping willow like Mario so you drive through and he's like ah, 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 ah. Do they go off a jump in the movie? <laughs> I guess I'm like, <laughs> Do funny. they f like go off a jump and then they fly into the tree? And I think they're flying in and then the tree like catches them from what I recall. And that's kind of what they're demonstrating here. 
Yeah. What'd you think about the set, Clark, man? You built bags one through three, and I built four and five. What was your thoughts on it? I kind of liked it, but um, I'm putting in the legit luggage wrong, and I'm not liking it. That's the only part you don't like, is the luggage going in there? I do like the luggage going in there, but it's kind of hard to get to stay in there. Because you got to like, have it like this, and there you can have it like that, okay. and then... You just gotta be careful. Come on, Lego, do better. Be able to put luggage in the back of the car. Come on. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, Harry. There we go. There. All right, and we spin it. How are you spinning that? I don't think we can. Um, right that. here. Okay. And there's Technic inside there if we take off the car and not break it. Clark literally built this by himself. There's Tech. There's Technic up there above, uh, above that black piece right there. Wow. There's some gears and... All of the stuff a tree needs to turn. Oh God! <laughs> ah! <laughs> the tree! It's a Brickitect review. Actually, it's a Brickitect haul review. A new series that I guess we're starting here. I like the idea of not only showing you something we bought. Like it's one thing to be like, "Hey guys, I got this for thirty-five dollars. This is the box. Okay, see you later." This is like, "I got this for thirty-five dollars and." Look at this, we can give you like our impressions of it. Obviously not a professional review by any means, but it's our thoughts on it. And I think that can be valuable. So that's what I picked up for $35. Never even made it in the backlog. We should be proud of ourselves, Clark, man. Yeah. Speaking of not making it in the backlog, there are some sets that are potentially coming today that I ordered on December 1st. And if you go back through my videos, you'll know what those are. Uh, hopefully they come and that'll be a future yeah. video coming up here. Cause we know they're not going to the backlog with this guy around. Mm -hmm. You wanna tell them what they're? Minecraft sets, yes. brand new 2020 Minecraft sets. They are, they're coming. Anyways guys, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed our haul review of the Whomping Willow set. I changed my tune on it, and this is why you can't judge a Lego set by its cover, because sometimes when you pull the trigger on it, you end up liking it, and at $35, if you see this set anywhere for that, I think it's gonna get harder to find. I would definitely snag. So on that, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> My car is getting broken, says Ron.